In this episode, we're going to teach Nikki to wait for her food bowl. Our weekly videos give you positive, effective training techniques to help you work with your dog. In the last episode, we taught Nikki the word wait. Now that she understands that wait means do not move, freeze until you are released, we can go on and teach Nikki many ways to use the word wait. When we have her food bowl in our hand, we are not going to give her her food bowl unless she remains perfectly still. So I'm gonna use a clicker to mark the behavior. I'm using the homemade dog treats that we made. Please go to the link that I put below for how to make the homemade dog treats. Also, there's a link up above my head. And also, this is the last week for the contest, so please go and make your guess for how many dog treats were in the bowl. I have about eight treats in here. I'm going to start at my shoulder. This is called an, a cute little name for it, it's called the elevator game. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at my shoulder, which is the top floor. Nikki is sitting, so I am going to click and I'm going to reach and I'm going to feed Nikki with the other hand. So the food is coming out of the bowl. Nikki's not moving, so I'm just gonna go down a little lower and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna feed her again. She's still not moving. I'll go just a little lower. I'm clicking. What am I clicking for? I'm capturing the behavior of Nikki waiting. My goal is to get to my waist. If she moves and comes forward before I get to my waist, then the ball will go back to my shoulder. But she's doing good. So I'm going to click and I'm going to tell her, take it and she's going to eat the remaining four treats that are in the bowl. The bowl is empty. Pick up the bowl. I'll add another maybe five or six treats. We'll start middle of my rib cage. She's not moving. I'm clicking. And remember, I'm feeding from the bowl. I'm going to go now to my waist. She's still not moving. She's being very good. If she moves, the bowl goes back to my shoulder. Remember, the elevator goes to the top floor. She's not moving, I'm at my hip, a little further down. Nikki's being very good. I have two more treats left, so I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna tell her, take it. The word we're gonna use is take it. That tells her she has your permission to take the bowl. Gonna pick up the bowl again. Always gets harder as you get closer to the floor. So we'll start at my waist. Nikki's not moving. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna feed her a treat from the bowl. Now I'm going down a little lower, I'm gonna click, always feeding from the bowl. As I get closer to the ground, I'm not gonna keep the bowl out here in front of me. I wanna bring it back here. I'm gonna go a little lower, I'm gonna click, feed. Lower, click, feed. As long as Nikki's not moving, I'm gonna continue to go lower. Lower, feed. So each time I start with about eight pieces of dog food or eight little tiny treats in there. Lower, feeder. Whole goal of this is to get to the floor. Lower, I'm gonna click, she didn't move. And I'm gonna tell her, take it. Remember the click must happen first before you say take it and before you give your dog the bowl. Bowl's empty again. Okay. I'm gonna start at my waist, click, feed. Go a little lower to my hip, I'm gonna click and feed. Down maybe to my thigh, click and feed. Start at my waist again, I'm gonna go down here, just working my way down the seam of my pants. We, Nikki and I have been doing this maybe for about three times. So the first time we did this, Nikki got up and came forward and then I would take the food bowl back to my shoulder. And she soon learned that if she remained not moving, that good things happened. Now she's being exceptionally good right now. And then I'm gonna click and tell her, take it. You always hand your dog the bowl. Goal is to get to the ground. Many times when you first practice this exercise, you don't get to the ground the first time. Maybe you get only to your waist 
and your dog is remaining steady. And the next time you try this, you're able to get to your knee and your dog is steady. Third time, you get to your ankle. This is our fourth time, so we're doing pretty good here. Now the hardest part always comes from getting the bowl from your ankle to the ground. Remember our elevator, if she comes forward, we must take it back to the top floor, back to my shoulder. And if you notice, I haven't said a word yet. I haven't said any cue, because I want her to learn the behavior first. And you can go to the playlist, Capturing Behaviors, which will give you a lot of ideas on behavior. So we're at the waist. Now we're at our knee. She hasn't moved. And now we're gonna go down to our calf. She still hasn't moved. Wow, gonna go a little lower, feed her. Down to our ankle, feed her. Feed her at her, my ankle. Just so she knows how wonderful she is. Take it. I made sure I had a couple more extra treats in there because I wanted to feed her right at my ankle because that is a hard place. It's at eye level for her. I think I'll start at my knee just to help her. I'm gonna click and feed. My calf, and feed. Gonna go to my ankle and I'm gonna feed. Gonna go to the top of my shoe. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna feed. Almost to the point where my bowl is touching the ground. And then I'm gonna tell her, take it. So we're down to our last step. We're going to go from the top of the shoe to the ground the next time. This is a great way to feed your dog their own meal because it teaches a great exercise and it also doesn't give them extra calories. Believe me, I'm gonna to have to cut down on Nikki's meal tonight. Here we go. I'm gonna take it to my calf. Oh, there she moved. That was a hard one. But you see how the elevator came to the top floor? The bowl came back to my shoulder. This is what this is all about. Make sure your dog realizes if they come forward, the bowl goes away. All right, so we'll make it easier. So we'll go to my waist. Then we'll go to my knee. Calf. Gonna give her two at my calf, because that was the hard one at my ankle. You always wanna make sure you never run out of treats. If you think you're, take it. If you think you're getting low on treats in the bowl, then just click and tell your dog, take it. So that your dog always has treats left in the bowl when you are finished, when you hand your dog the bowl. Let's see what happens. Do you think Nikki will let me get it all the way to the ground? Let's see, to my knee. And I'm going to feed her. I take it to my calf. And I'm going to feed her. I take it to my ankle. I'm going to feed her. Notice it's at the outside of my shoe. Not the inside. My shoe is blocking. It's on the ground. Click. Take it. There you go. The idea is even when the bowl is on the ground, your dog has to wait for the click and then you hand the bowl to your dog. We're gonna take it to the ankle and then to the ground in one movement. So we're going to go from shoulder to ankle. I'm gonna click to ground. I'm gonna click, gonna feed her from the bowl, not once, but twice. And then I'm gonna tell her, take it. So now, Nikki has learned the behavior. She's learned that she can't touch the food bowl as it goes down the side of my pants, all the way to the ground. Last final step, add the word wait. So we're gonna take more and we're going to say to her, Nikki, wait. And we're gonna take the bowl all the way to the ground. Now, if she comes up for it, we bring it back to our shoulder. Please don't repeat the word. You've said it once. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna take it all the way to the ground. Okay. And gonna wait now until Nikki's ready again. Okay. It doesn't mean she has to lie down, but she's more likely not to move. I'm gonna help her out a little bit. I'm gonna put the bowl back there. I'm gonna click and tell her, take it. 
So that's the beginning of teaching her weight. But by putting the bowl behind my foot, I'm giving Nikki a little bit, a better chance of success. One last time, it's a good thing because I'm out of treats. Okay, and more of my homemade dog treats. I'm going to put the clicker on this hand. I can click faster. I don't have to wait until I can get the clicker back in my hand after I put the bowl to the ground. Nikki, wait. She moved, okay? I'm not gonna repeat it. Take it. Good girl. There you go. So that is the exercise weight. Now, as you do this at home, it won't be behind your foot. It will be beside your foot, and then it will be in front of your foot. Just so your dog now realizes they can't touch the bowl until you release them. Until, up, yep, up, yep, up, yep. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Diamond Dog Training, how to teach your dog to wait for their food bowl. Please remember to subscribe and to ring the bell so they don't miss any episodes. Also, please leave me some comments in the box below. I'd love to answer questions and hear your comments about the episodes. Please go to the links that are in the description, which talks about the products that we use in these videos. And one last thing, this is the last day for the contest. Please go to the episode, how to make homemade dog treats and put in your guess or put in the guess in the comment box below. This is April the 27th, the last day of the contest. We will have a winner this week and we will announce it next week on the episode. Thank you, have a great day and goodbye from Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.